Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time to check out my video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you're going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So if you follow any type of financial news or anything dealing with finances and bank accounts, you may have noticed recently that there's a lot of talk about interest rates and whether or not the Fed is going to cut interest rates or increase them or keep them the same. So there's been a lot of talk about that. And so I've actually had a few questions from some followers on Instagram. Make sure you're following me if you're not. And they wanted to know about uh, CD accounts. And so a lot recently I've been talking about checking accounts and different types of savings accounts. And they wanted to know, should they put their money in a savings account or should they put it in a CD? So today we're going to talk about CDs. So what is a CD? A CD is a certificate of deposit. It is very similar to a savings account, but there are a few slight differences in those types of accounts. So when you put your money into a savings account, you have what is essentially a variable interest rate. The interest rate can change at any time. It depends on what the bank wants to provide, but it's also linked to the, the Federal Reserve's interest rates. And if you followed any banks over the past five or 10 years, you've noticed that interest rates have been rising over this time. Ever since the Great Recession in 2008, 2009, interest rates were extremely low, so they had nowhere to go but up. And so now the Federal Reserve is thinking about either cutting interest rates or just keeping them the same. So that may not be a good thing in some people's eyes, at least for savings rates. But there are some good qualities or good reasons why you would want to lower interest rates. So if I go into too many details about how the Federal Reserve makes their decision, just remember that usually when there's an interest rate cut, that usually means bad news for the stock market or it means bad news for the economy as a whole. It means that we're beginning to slow down. So let's get into the major differences between a savings account and a certificate of deposit. With a certificate of deposit, a CD, unlike a savings account, the interest rate is fixed. So you pick a certain time period that could be as little as three months or as long as five years. And I've seen some that actually have six years. And based on the time period that you select, you have different rates of interest that you can get from your CD. And the longer the period, the higher the interest rate. So with the Federal Reserve thinking about cutting rates, this may be a good time for you to get a CD to lock in those interest rates over the next year or five years or however long you decide to hold your CD. And I'll give a few examples of uh, what a six month CD is looking like right now compared to a 60 month or five year CD. So looking at some of the pros of a CD over a savings account is of course you get the higher interest rate and you're getting that locked in for five years. So if you're thinking that interest rates are going to be lower in the next five years, right now might be a great time to put your money into a CD and lock in those interest rates. And also because you're locked in, you are keeping that money in your savings account over the time period that you choose. Unlike your regular savings account where you can take money out pretty much at any time. And as long as you're not taking money out more than six times per year, it will remain a savings account with that interest rate. Although there are some accounts where you can actually take out more than six times. Uh, if you check out some of my past videos where I talk about those accounts and I'll put a link in the description for those as well. But also one of the cons of having that fixed interest rate over a fixed time period is that if interest rates do rise, then you could have had the opportunity to open a savings account or a CD that has a higher interest rate than the CD that you have locked in currently. Now, because interest rates don't rise very quickly, the time period that you hold your CD, it will take a couple of years before interest rates catch up to what the maximum CD rates are. And another con of a CD versus another vehicle to put your money in, which are stocks, is that CD rates are typically lower than what you can get in the stock market. On average, you can get about an 8% return per year by investing in the stock market. Right now, the highest interest rate that you can get on a CD is about 2.8%, maybe 3% with certain accounts. So I'll give you a few examples of different accounts of what their six month CD rate is versus what their 60 month CD rate is. So if you've seen my top five online savings account video in the past, these banks are also mentioned in that. So you can check them out so you can see what their normal savings account uh, interest rates are compared to these CD rates that I'm gonna mention. So the first bank that I'll mention is Barclays. This is an account that I've used for many years. And this is actually the example account that I'm gonna use for CD rates. So about five years ago, and it'll actually be five years 
coming this December, I opened a CD with Barclays and the interest rate for that five year CD was 2.25%. At the time, a regular savings account was right above 1%. I don't believe it was much higher than 1%. At the time, the CD rate was about double what the normal savings account interest rate was. And so now you see with Barclays, their highest CD interest rate is 2.71% and that's on a five year CD. But with their lower six month CD time period, the interest rate is only 0.65%. And what you can see is this is actually lower than even their regular savings account. So getting a short term CD is kind of pointless, especially if you're gonna get a six month, that is lower than a regular savings account. So you might as well just get a regular savings account, which is currently at 2.1%. And just to give a few additional examples, uh, markets by Goldman Sachs, their six month CD rate is 0.60%. Their five year CD is 2.8% and their regular savings account is 2.15%. Synchrony Bank, their six month CD rate is at 1%. Their five year CD rate is at 2.80% and their regular savings account is at 2.15%. An ally who actually fell out of the top five and I made an update just a few weeks ago, their six month CD rate is at 1%. Their five year CD rate is at 2.65% and their regular savings rate is at 2%. Now, although Ally fell out of my top five with the most recent update and also due to the expectation that interest rates are gonna drop, one of the things that stands out with Ally Bank, they have a two year and a four year CD option where you actually have the option once every two years to actually increase the CD rate. So you're only able to increase this if interest rates actually increase during the time period that you have your CD. So let's say you lock in a two year or a four year at 2.5%, which is the option that they have at the moment. And let's say next year it goes up to 2.75 or maybe 3%. You have the option at that point to increase the rate of your CD, but you only have that one option per two year period. This is not something that I've seen with many other CD accounts and not with the ones that are in our top five. So although Ally is no longer within the top five, that is one great option if you're a person looking to open a CD. This is also a great fallback in case rates do actually increase and the Federal Reserve doesn't decrease rates as people are expecting. But just like the stock market, it is very hard to predict uh, what's gonna happen over the next six months or a year or even five years. Unlike the past 10 years where rates were historically low, so you knew that interest rates were gonna increase over a five or 10 year period. So opening a CD five years ago compared to today was a bet that interest rates weren't gonna to increase to the rate that your CD would be lower than a normal savings account. And so if you were to open one today, your expectation may be that interest rates next year or within the next five years are actually gonna be lower than they are right now. So that's one reason someone would want to lock in a CD rate right now. Now, compared to the money that I would put into the stock market, I'm not going to put a lot of money in a CD. Um, I also don't put a lot of money in savings. I usually keep around maybe about a thousand dollars unless there's something specific that I'm saving for. Otherwise, any additional money is going towards debt or going towards investments in retirement accounts like 401k or an IRA or just a regular traditional brokerage account. And that's because you can gain more through the stock market than you can ever will be able to gain long term through a savings account or through a CD. So given this information and maybe what you already know about savings accounts and CDs, right now, would you open a CD account or would you stick to your savings account? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if there are any banks out there that you found that have an even better CD rate. And even without a CD, you can actually get very similar rates to these five year CD rates. But of course, you're not going to have that fixed interest that you would have with a CD as you would with some of the online savings accounts that I've reviewed in the past, as well as some of the checking accounts where actually right now you can get higher than a 2.8% interest rate on your savings account. All right. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit it right now. Also hit that like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.